Hello, welcome back. My name is Ray. I'm some guy at random at dot LA or whatever how it works. Anyway, I'm continuing on using MVC Mono Develop. So let's go forward. Last time we left, we added this record and pretty much sort of on orthodoxy. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. Let's open up the project that we're working on. The thing that we need to do. Well, what I want to do first is sort of explain the web.config because I think the last 10 minutes or whatever, how many minutes of the, of the tutorial, we went into troubleshooting this. Basically, in the end, what needed to happen is this section name need to be defined. And if you go to this URL, you, you sort of see that. The reason why the section needs to be defined is so that it can access this system, uh, this entity framework provider. And basically, it's going to use the MySQL client, yada, yada. When we added the entity framework, it created a lowercase w.web.config file. And pretty much, I just moved this stuff from that file over to here and put it at the same level as this. The last thing that needed to be added was the connection string. Okay, so pretty much this is a valid web.config iteration file. So let's continue on. Uh, what next needs to be happened? We were looking at the person controller, and basically what I want to do is I want to pass a list of people to the view page index view page and pretty much that'll be my launching pad in other words I'll see a list of people and I'll choose whether I want to delete that person update that person or um, add a new person so let's sort of move in that direction so I, I want to um, how shall I say this I want to pass a list I said that before so we'll just start off by declaring a list so the um, I'm going to have a list of people, and if this is does not resolve, this is from the systems collection um, library. This is this, and it shouldn't be in here. I was one down, so let's, let's let's move it down here. This is the one that I'm working on, the index, and so pretty much what this piece of little piece of code is is just saying, give me a list of people. Okay, this is what they call the um, a generic, and we will set the people to our database context, and there is a to list that comes from that. And basically, this I can close that down. Basically, this is coming from the context DB. Okay, and we are accessing this item. Once we have the people, we will push the people to the view. That seems to be pretty good. So let's create our view. So we say uh, add view, index, um, no templates yet. It's going to be a uh, razor view because that's the way I like to work things. It's going to be strongly typed and we're going to attach it to people or person does have a master layout and let's look at that that's going to be over here in the shared folder yes we use shared folder and this is the layout looks good to me say okay um, anything else I need to do uh, let's go over to our layout because we're going to need to be able to get access to this page so if I go to my views the shared layout Right here we have the dummy um, anchors that bootstrap, or I cut and pasted from the bootstrap um, starter page. So let's get rid of that. And here's another one. Notice that this one is also active. We're going to sort of um, make sure that the, the right tab hits active. Right now it's static and it won't change. The anchor leaks that we want to use will be something like this 
home this is an action link basically it creates an anchor with the text home and it'll go to the home controller and find the index method likewise we want to do the same thing for the people or the person I, I, I keep on messing up my plurals there so this will go to the people controller well it's index and it's people here I think that's right yes people control no it's person controller person person controller and it'll do this at least that's the text that I sort of want okay get rid of that okay save this anything else I think I should do let's sort of run this right now and see what we got run with monosoft debugger what do we have let me close the previous window we have the home it looks pretty good we should get rid of this test insert so we don't insert any more records incidentally the record stance is these two records if I push list I should go to the people list and I'm getting a system time data okay this is going to be the first one of our problems date time field is not normally null but in our case if I get bring this back up again we have one value that has a null value on this database to fix this or to alleviate this we can make it nullable on this side later on we will ask the question you know what does it mean to submit valid data to the database but for right now let's just resolve this go over to to um, the people or the person model and we will allow this to be null and all I do is do the postfix question mark I'll save and now let's run this stop and run with mono debugger we should get this we saw was good and this is our was our problem and pretty much again the web models person type generic list oh part two <laughs> This is as, I, as you hack your way through doing code. If we look at the, I think this is one of the disadvantages of the Mono Develop IDE. <clears throat> when we created the person index, it pops up right away and you start working on it. In the Mono Develop IDE, it doesn't do that. So Visual Basic, that's a feature that I like in Visual Basic so um, let's continue with this we are we want a enumerable but the method that I sort of like to do is I don't like this post fix on there so I can remove that by doing something like this okay um, the next thing like I said this has to be an enumerable project so let's make this enumerable and we also need to put the angle brackets because it is generic and let's save this this should now work so I actually I don't even need to rebuild this because um, I just made edits on the index chhtml which doesn't require a, a compile so if I refresh this yada uh, um, the next thing is to create a table so let's go over here to this thing our goal was to create a table I want to save some time because I have this code that um, that they'll just cut and paste over and I'll explain it easy sleep let's put it in a div first okay and I can write div because it's only three letters there we go um to walk through this this is just a table here's a table header and these are the titles that I'm using first name last name view 
Well, yeah, I'm going to be able to view the record. I want to be able to edit the record if I need to. And I want to be able to delete the record. We will work on the view part first. When it comes to the body part of the table, okay, we're going to loop through each row. And that's basically what this is. For each person in the model, this is the model, we are going to write its first name, its last name, and its birth date. And these are will be all contained in table data tags. Um, let's get rid of this first. I don't want to talk about this yet. The URL that that's going to be present will be the um, a link to the action details person. I don't, this is not right here. Well, action is that right? Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. And um, I don't need this yet. Sorry for the the um, the walkthrough one. This should work. We close the table body table. You sort of see the code, and you saw saw the code that I removed. But basically, this is what I sort of want. See if this sort of works out. Stop it, and well, actually, I didn't need to stop it because. Um, I only made edits to the CHTML page, so I can come back over here and reload this and see if there were any errors in my problem. No. So basically, I have two records. The views, if you look down at the bottom left, it says details one and view detail two. Um, I see these double brackets up here, so let me go back over here to my um, mono. Where is that double bracket sort of coming from? We got these brackets. First name for each person. Somehow this doesn't feel right, but it, yet it displays. This doesn't need to be here. And I think that should be it. So save this. Let's go back over here. I'm trying to get rid of these double brackets, so I reload this, and that took care of it. Keep coming back, it gets more interesting. Bye.